Salut everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about Deadlock, the latest game pushed by Valve, and we're going to see if it's actually running on Linux. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. I just got access to the alpha version of Deadlock. So this game has been under the radar for many months right now. I think they started to distribute key at the beginning of this year, like around like February, March. And I finally got access to it uh, earlier this month. So I did play on and off. I didn't stream it yet because there was some type of NDA and I was not sure if I could do it or not. But I do believe they message on the fact that the NDA is lift off. And now we can finally talk about it. So the first thing I want to say is that the game works on Linux. They didn't make a native version of it. It go through Proton. So before we get into the performance, let's talk about what the game is really about. So they are still working on, on everything there, but the idea is that it's a 6v6 first person shooter uh mixed with a MOBA with the ability of you know like uh, Overwatch. So you're gonna be like Armax, like is, is it like Smite? Um maybe. <laughs> I didn't play Smite that much, but it will be like around like this type of game. I did play for like like 10 hours on Linux, and I have to say like I kind of like this game. I'm not a big MOBA player. I'm also not a big like third person shooter, but I was kind of like uh, sucked into it. There is way more than just, you know, like the MOBA and actual, like, you know, like skill and special, like, moves that each of those characters are providing. There is more. There is, there is a market. There is build behind it. And, and I have to say, like, the, like we say, like, depth of the game itself uh, seems pretty interesting. So I think, like, it's the type of game like you're going to be really able to play right off the bat. It's not complicated. But when you start to get into it, into the meta, into like all the different combo and counter against the other character, I think this could be a, a really, really good game. Like that's the feeling I have. Maybe I'm wrong, but like it's pretty popular right now. Uh, on Steam, so I'm not the only one to think that. Also, like it's not perfect, it's still in alpha, and we're going to talk about it uh, for the performance aspect of it. But again, uh, that's what the game is all about, and uh, yeah, it's not really like a, a big innovator, but it was still uh, some type of like a good, like fresh hair uh, for uh, me, at least while I, I started uh, testing this game. I, I kind of like it. And when you talk about complexity, you have to think that there is already 21 characters in it. So I have the opportunity to play like five of them because I'm trying to focus in on some characters to understand like the impact of each of the builds I've been playing with. And uh, yes, it has been pretty fun. So I know I'm repeating myself. Maybe I'm totally in love with the game. Can't really like have an objective approach yet because I didn't play enough. But I would say my first impression is that it's a good game. So if you don't have access to it, you have a, a Reddit forum where you could go and ask for a key. Uh, also, like if one of your friends has access to the game, he can invite you. So I did invite uh, everybody on my friend list uh, to see like, you know, if uh, they will uh, enjoy the game themselves. So this is still in alpha phase. Uh, nobody not everybody would have access to it right off the bat. So now let's talk about the performance of the game itself. So as you know, I did reinstall Windows 11 uh, on my over hard drive and I make a little like comparison about the performance I had on Windows and Linux to see if you were losing that much of a FPS. But before we, we get into that, I want to explain like what are the video settings, which in my opinion are pretty important. Uh, the game can be rendered in both DirectX 11 and Vulkan. So if you have an old NVIDIA card, for example, and you want to play on Linux, because you're going to be uh, running through DirectX 11, you might not be impacted like a lot by the performance loss you could have uh, with switching to Vulkan. So I have to say, like for the Valve devs, they, they did a pretty good job, like still including users who have a pretty, uh, I would say, like not recent or old, a graphic card so this is good you know if you have a 1080 ti i own i still own one there 
I, I love this graphic card, but I know like, you know, DirectX 12 Vulkan was not, which is the best <laughs> while running uh, on, on this card. But you won't have this issue because there is a DirectX 11 version of the game. So this is great. Uh, now, when it comes uh, to the performance between DirectX 11 and Vulkan, on my machine, on the 1490, I had zero difference. The game in terms of visual was the same and the, term, uh, the game in terms of performance was exactly the same, which is great. And uh, there is like a free big setting you can play with if you don't want to go into the detail. But I choose for this specific benchmark uh, the, the setting just before the maximum uh, settings there. Because I think it would be cool to see like how the game runs with FSR. So it won't be like a big in-depth, uh, you know, like analysis of the frame time, frame rate and everything. It's going to be more like an overall overview because, yeah, you know, benchmark is like, nah. and especially in the alpha, I don't think it's worth it. It's going to change a lot. And we're going to talk about this after. But overall, if you launch the game and you play in their sandbox mod, you will see that the difference between Windows and Linux is only 4%. So if I look at a specific point and check my FPS on Windows, I will run around like 375 FPS. And if I switch to Linux, I will be around like 360 FPS. So you're going to lose 4% uh, moving from uh, Windows to Linux, which is like peanuts. When you come to input lag, super reactive, couldn't get really like the difference between Windows and Linux. It's super smooth, working very well on my 270 Hz monitor. So you won't have any difference when it comes to switching from one platform to another, which is pretty dope. I have to say, good job, Valve. When you come to the real game, because when you are in the sandbox, as you've certainly seen, because I'm going to put B-roll there, the experience itself is like incredible. Like you will, you will be locked at 300 FPS no matter what. Now, when you move to the game itself, I do believe that there is some type of limitation towards the server, but I couldn't get more than 170 FPS in the game with exactly the same setting and there is a little like you would see like a, a little like a uh, uh, at the bottom which kind of indicate how much loaded is the server you are playing on and you will see that depending on the load of the server you will get less fps overall so i'm i'm, I'm guessing this is a limitation on their end versus what i was experiencing on the sandbox and really what it, what it means for you guys is that whether you are using like windows or linux you're going to be really limited at the end by the server performance themselves because again difference in terms of fps between windows and linux is four percent no matter what so yeah that's all already i think i covered everything uh, this game i believe has a huge potential i don't know how it's going to evolve in time but looking at the amount of like time and energy they already like push toward it, I'm pretty sure this one could be a good and big hit. Like really big hit. Like is, is there is some type of like magic sauce uh, they put in these games that kind of like uh, really, really like uh, trigger me. And I'm pretty sure we're going to play it on stream uh, this week or next week. So if you want to watch uh, the gameplay on Linux, don't hesitate to subscribe. Also give a like and uh, yeah, that's it, that's all. Guys, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.